Turn on your mic, Rich. Can you hear me, Rich? I can't hear you.
How about how about now? Can you hear us? Yes. Yes. Oh, look at that. Okay, that took way too much time. But here we are, finally. Technology is great when it works. Um, oh my god, I don't like this. I don't like this view now. Forget it. No, forget yes. it. I don't like this image. So I'm gonna like now that I got it. Yeah, no, you can, you can that's it. You can, you can it could us. face it could face Aaron since she's much more photogenic from that angle. That's her angle. Hi. Um, here is someone, this is for Josh and Aaron before I forget, who filled out the form. Oh yeah. Who printed it out and then sent it to us as opposed to using technology. Because cool. I don't want yep, to understand why. This time. Wonderful. All right, here we go. What time is it? 6.15. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll call the meeting to order. Everyone in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Aye. Great. Thank you very much for joining, <laughs> Linda. Thank you. Accept the minutes from last month. Everyone all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. I owe uh, June minutes that I still have to do. It's on my list. New members. We all, Andrew is now with us on this side of the, ba the barrister. Balustrade. Balustrade. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, Petita Blogo, round of applause. Yes, my first official meeting. Your first official meeting as yes. a member. Yes, on the, yeah. on the balustrade. Um, oh, okay. We still have, I think, technically two more openings, so just keep that in the back of your head. Oh, think, we can invite more people? I think we're seven right now, and I think we can be nine. Okay. Ooh. Yes, that's the max. So, but we can't be eight. Because God forbid we get a tie <laughs> Seven's okay. good, though. It's a magic number. It is, really, yeah. yes. It's magic. Yep. All right, here we go. The tree ordinance was with Nathan the last time, but I think that Josh had some comments, and anyone else would like to add anything to tree ordinance issue? I actually haven't looked up into it since last month. <laughs> Nathan sent us some... I do... Okay, my own two cents is that I do agree with Nathan and Josh getting taken out of the tree board, because I don't see that actually happening. I think it's, like, too much volunteer. Oh, like, yeah to ask for people. Um, and I do think that we really need to include the code enforcement officer in these conversations. So maybe we could do, I don't know about August, August or September, one of, well, this is our August meeting, um, maybe September meeting or October to bring Craig in to ask him to attend. What do you think? I'm in favor mm -hmm. of that. Yep, because he's the one who's gonna be ultimately um, enforcing it. September 3rd. Okay, September I'll ask 3rd. Him. Does he know this is even a possibility that he... Well, that's, that's I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know. So who knows? Um, we need to be on his radar mm -hmm. and to get, his, to get his input. We can't just like pass this law and then tell him afterwards, which, which, has, which does happen mm -hmm. here in the city of government. Um, okay, great. So the tree ordinance will ask Craig to attend the meeting. And then I think uh, the other recommendations were to downgrade the fine and to for trees that provide public shade as opposed to trees that are just in on private property or something like that yeah. or, or on public property yeah. public shade trees that's a good idea mm -hmm. um, and I'm all in favor of that and w once we the process is once we you know okay everything and we're then it goes to legal and then they can um, mess it up and then <laughs> give it to the uh, common council which kind of right. what they do, which is kind of what they do last um, so the C, so anyway, so next is community choice aggregation. Where is that? I spoke That's to you. Um, Justin today. Mm -hmm. Is he on? Justin is not with us. Right now. No. So, um, so previously, Michael Hoffman, who is the mayor's aide, mm -hmm. um, helped draft the RFP using the template from the NYSERDA nice website. And um, a resolution had passed previously, and the next step was to hire or to issue an RFP for an administrator for the program to help us negotiate a rate to see if it would be feasible for us to do this at the city of Hudson. And um, so I gave Justin a debrief today on sort of what the CCA is and what the steps are. And he uh, was very, wanted to be very supportive, but also had indicated that uh, he didn't know much about it and also hadn't been involved in RFP process previously and wasn't sure who in the city or who should support this committee in terms of RFPs. He's not necessarily that person. Oh, fair he enough. Was, 
he was going to check with Tracy. I could ask Tom if he was here, um, if there was guidance on that. But I think it's just that we have to post it, and then we get in the submissions mm -hmm. to Tracy, and then we look at the submissions. But do, I mean, where do we post it, I guess? I mean, we could post it. I now have access to our web page. Okay. So we can post it on the CAC web page. Um, I don't know how other people find out about it. There might be a an RFP. I have no idea. We have to ask them. I mean, I imagine the city had like places that they sent it out. Um, but um, I mean, I have I know the organization in Kingston that I would love to share it with. Mm -hmm. I think would be a good possibility for administrators. They're the only nonprofit uh, that I know of that administers. I think that's what has to happen, is that we can post it and then we send it out to maybe some potential people who will be interested and then they submit a proposal to Tracy and it comes to us. I mean that, so it's in draft form right now, I've given some comments there because uh, there were a couple of questions which I thought would be good to visit in a while, but if the newer folks, have, if you haven't looked at it, would like to, I'm guessing you have I have not and I'm not even particularly familiar about what community choice aggregation oh. is, but I don't need to derail that. I can yeah. I can read up on it if you point me in the right direction. Sure. Yeah. I can send some I can send the RFP around. Okay. Um, I think I sent it you probably have it I sent it recently to the group email. The group, but before yeah. you probably had access. Um, but this, you are in the group by the way. I am. Yes. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. But just like the 22nd overview is that it's basically a buyer's club for energy um, okay. for residential and small businesses for municipalities. Municipalities can negotiate or hire an administrator, third party, to negotiate a rate. Nice. And we can designate as a municipality that it has to be 100% renewable. Mm -hmm. That's one of the benefits of CCA. And because it's a buyer's club, hopefully the rate is, is reasonable and maybe even lower. Is the idea. It's not always the case. Nice. But, no, that's it. And then Hudson would join with other municipalities into one sort of contract um, that the administrator would negotiate. Um, gotcha. So Kingston has like a is part of a cohort, and so we could maybe join them or the capital mm -hmm. district. What about Greenport? Uh, well, Greenport would have to pass your resolution to go through this that we've done mm -hmm. here. Okay. Um, and they could certainly join. Can you? Okay. The administrator would be the person dealing with the program then. Yeah. Would that be the person you would hire to do the RFPs then? Uh, we would do, initially we would do the RFP as to hire the mm -hmm. administrator. Gotcha. And they would take over the process mm -hmm. of negotiating right. with Right. The RFP is just to hire the administrator. Yeah. 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 And it's and people a residents can opt out. It's a, it's not an opt in. And it, um, and the resolution that passed is non binding. It's just for us to be able to explore this. And there's like a six month public education process that Clinton would go through once we have an administrator um, to ensure that everyone is aware that this could happen and then give feedback. So there's uh, several steps that New York State has sort of put, put out there since 2016, I think, is when the Public Service Commission uh, allowed this to be a program that municipalities have access to. Nice. I will take a read through that. Mm -hmm. um, next is anti-island laws. I have no comment on this one. Erin, I have no comment. <laughs> no. Everyone's no comment? No mm -hmm. comment. We, uh, we, should, we should meet. We should. It would have to be on a weekend for me, or a very early morning. About anti for the next for the next until August sixteenth, I'm so attacked. Okay, so I'll I'll leave it up with you, Tim. Okay. Um, tree grant. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da there's uh, okay. There's tree two. trees. There's wait no hold on hold on. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> the tree grant. So we have the old tree grant, which oh shoot shoot shoot. I was hoping this would not happen. Um, okay, fine. Anyway, um, so street tree grants, where was I? 
the old tree grant, we still had a few open items, such as um, what? Such as what am I doing? What am I talking? About? I just got. Uh, we have to uh, monitor water and the healthy new plants and trees, ensure 95% survival rate, prepare all required quarterly reports, um, work with TEC Forester for inspections, ensure a five year plan for maintenance is in place and update as needed. Um, number five, work with CEAC and Youth Department to create uh, education program. Sorry, I'm going off. Um, uh, work with I think we, we did some of these items. So there's just, there's just like a few that are left. So I can connect with the DEC to see if they need to inspect it. Um, but we do have some money for an education program uh, for the youth. Okay, so. Basically just show them the trees, I don't know. Show them, show know. them the trees. Show them the trees. These are the know. trees that we planted on um, uh, Jocelyn. Harry Howard. Harry Howard. Blah, that's what I meant. Yes. Harry Howard. Show children trees I'm upon telling. Harry Howard. I mean, and whatever educate the, them about that whole process. Well, I think that I could probably, uh, I could talk to Liz, who is the director of the Hudson Youth Department. Uh -huh and see if there is anything that they might be doing as far as field trips. That's a good idea. That they could <clears throat> incorporate. What we also did with the other street trees is we created this little tree Medallion. medallions, thank you, uh, listing the, um, the, the species, species yeah, of the tree. Mm -hmm. And we hung them on the tree, so that would be a cute, mm -hmm. fun activity. Okay. Uh, so they, they can learn okay. about it. Um, how much money do we have? Money? Yeah, how much money do we have? I think there's like a couple of grants. I have to double check, but I think there's like, I want to say there's like 2K left over. If you can tell me what a budget is, then I can tell Liz and see what we can accomplish with that amount, including medallions, I would assume. My fear also is that some of the trees may not survive mm -hmm. uh, just because it's been a rough summer mm -hmm. and it was a rough planting. So we might have to maybe replant a tree or two. I don't know. We can, there is a guarantee from the... Uh, from yeah, the, they said that. They'd replace them. So, so we a lot of them were dying. Yeah. Huh? I noticed a number of them were dying. Yeah. I saw a few. They seem to be the same type. Are they are they dying or are they just smaller trees? I thought maybe they would. Three, five, no, they they're all they come back. brown leaves. Yeah, they they are all different trees. Yeah, they're not all the same. So, um, I, I have not even been there like that, yet. The, so. All the same ones are, have the brown leaves. Okay. So I, I just wondered. Yeah. Only because I transplanted a sycamore tree last year and it lost all of it. It looked terrible. Yeah, it's hard and to tell into the spring. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering if it, I think it's a more tech. Yeah. Is there a maintenance program, a watering program on them? DPW is doing filling the gator bags. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So yeah. I need a field trip. I need I need a cack field trip out there. Can we do a cack field trip? Yeah. Sure. Good. Great. Can we do like Saturday morning? Is that like a thing or Sunday morning? What if we totally what, yeah? Or what if we did like an hour before the meeting? I can't. Oh, not for the next two months. Fair enough. Um, all right. Yeah, maybe a Sunday. Sunday. I love a morning. <laughs> Do you want to pick a date? Yeah. Sure. Pick a date. I'm out. I can do the fourth. I can do the eleventh. And that's it. <laughs> I could also do those. Do two. You can go without me. Okay. Josh, can you do any of this? I can't do the fourth of the camping. I do the eleventh if it's before ten. Hmm. When I have four o'clock. What if it's just you and me? <laughs> I'm fine with either. I can do fourth or eleventh. I can do before ten. Ten as well. Mm -hmm. Fourth or eleventh. So if you want to be a part of it, then we'll wait for you for the eleventh. Why don't you go? To not wish to be a part of it. He does not wish to be a part of it. He does not want to tell us, so 
would you like to go, my friend? You tell we me. We could get a coffee beforehand. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like this. You know, it's like fun. Yeah. You're going to do a cold brew or I'm maybe an espresso? I'm probably going to do a cold brew. <laughs> um, let's talk about, can we do like a, like a uh, 9 or a 9.30? That's fine, 9. Okay, let's say 9 o'clock. Yeah. Put out, put it out to the group because maybe Sam might join you. Yeah, okay. there are others. Let's do that. Yeah. All right, we're just figuring this out, guys. If anybody in the world would like to join us for this pack coffee field pot. trip, Go coffee ahead. field trip treats, you're welcome to join us. Mm -hmm. Okay, CAC, CAC. I, I would like to add an agenda. CAC versus CAC at some point in our agenda. This, this one. <laughs> Well, you know, I say CAC because I'm not saying CAC. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I stop others on the council from saying CAC. Really? <laughs> because, like, You're not stopping yeah. me yet. Should you stop me? What? Should you stop me? You should probably stop me. Be careful what you, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's too close to. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. I grew up at a creative art center that also people didn't know whether it was CAC or CAC. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah. It was always CAC. The Wisconsin, so you know, the, know. the story of the Wisconsin yes. Trade Federation yes. had to yes. change their name. That's perfect, yeah. All right, here we go. CAC field, CAC field trip. Uh, no. Um, okay, so that's the one grant. <laughs> the other grant, I just told them this is the grant that they got into late last year. So I just told them to resubmit it, even though there might be a delta of a few trees difference, plus or minus. We don't have the resources right now to go out and recount what trees are in or out based upon the inventory. So I'm just like, just resubmit it and see if we get the grant. It's $75,000 mm. to see, and it's mostly for taking trees down that are diseased and dead. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what is that for? Street it, tree? No, no, it is for taking trees down. Well, it could be street trees, but there's trees there. The our, our tree inventory actually does list trees that need to be taken down. Yeah, probably mostly in the cemetery. Mostly too. in the cemetery. Yes, you're right. I mm -hmm. mean, there's one, we saw one or two already have like red X's on them. Yeah. The reason to the cemetery is because they fall down, they break the stones. It's a bigger mess. Um, and yeah, so, right. But there needs to be trees that are planted in the place. Yes, that's the, that's yes. The one step thing at a time, it. but yeah, no, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that, we'll see, we'll put, we'll put the thing in for this, for this grant. Let's see what happens. Okay. If we get it. Um, the heat pump, the light bulb money. Okay. So $5,000. Oh yeah, we haven't gotten the light bulb. I, I sent you the link, um, to what types of light bulbs. My rec, I mean, oh, I don't, I don't know LED light bulbs. But my recommendation is that we find like one or two light bulbs. Yep. And we have five thousand dollars. We have the city has an account with you know thousandbulbs.com, and um, we find one or two LED light bulbs and we just order them. Um, they're about two bucks each, I would say, with shipping. So there's some which are cheaper, some which are more expensive. But so that gives us about let's say twenty five hundred light bulbs. The DPW has a place where we can store them. Then the other thing is, how do we actually distribute them um, in your process? Otherwise, it's going to be craziness. You know, just a stampede of LED light bulbs. We don't want that sure. a bad rush like a, like a half price sale at Alexander's. It's going to be like crazy. Um, um, we needed to talk to the other group that also yeah. was distributing. Yeah. Bulbs. Yeah, yeah. And we did not do that. Start. Okay. Oh, I have a big soil. So, would you like support with that? Yes. So, we're, they are already have a light distribution. I noticed they're giving them out at Bliss. Okay. Their tenant appreciation. We should okay. also find out what kind of bulbs they have been handing out. And you said it's the Head Start program that's doing it? Uh, it, it? I'm not sure. It's something but in the CLI. It was Head Start and Columbia Opportunities. I'm not sure Columbia, which okay. group was actually. Gotcha. Um, it's probably Columbia Opportunities. That, that would All make right. sense given their weatherization program. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll follow up with them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, great. Yeah, and then, right. So pick a bulb, we'll order the bulbs, and then we'll move forward. I'm also thinking maybe, do we need an online form for people, or how do we want to distribute them? Should only residents of the city of Hudson? How many per household? Things like that we have to think about. So we need a process. We need, I mean, we could do an online form. Um, we could distribute at the farmer's market, but really, yeah, it does have to be limited, I think, at least to the city of Are Boston. we doing an exchange? We could do an exchange, whatever the process is. Yeah. So if we have an exchange, then we have to figure out what to do with the old ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If they're mercury bulbs, if they're halogen, they certain ways to think. Yeah, we sell them online at five, five, five times the price. <laughs> Back. I got these. Right. Some of the old bulbs. <laughs> I, I got these bulbs in the back of my truck. Hey, Just, yeah. hey Come on, I got right. a really good Which deal on incandescence. <laughs> <laughs> I do think check it out. I got a I, nice. Selection. I think it's a good idea, but the question is what to do with them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could just do a handout. We don't have to do it necessarily to an exchange. Yeah, that would I mean, I think the grant does say exchange. So we could take some. We could like, like, the county has their like. Hazardous waste. Yeah, yeah. We could also like partner with them and hand out. When, if, I don't know. When you're talking to the Columbia opportunities, mm -hmm. you should ask what kind of bulbs they've been handing out. Yep. If they've received any feedback from people who are like, oh, I wish you had. That was my thought. I was like, I bet people want different wattages because I hate when you get that 40 watt bulb and you're like, if you look on the. <laughs> like, not bright enough. <laughs> Although the, the thousandbulbs.com, they have, you know, it tells you the Kelvin, yeah. like, yeah. per bulb. So it's, like, really exact. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So we can get, you know, we can get exactly what we want. Right. Cool. It'd be fun to do them at the farmer's market. Sometimes they don't start throwing. But the problem is that, like, people who have a hard time purchasing light bulbs mm. are not going to the farmer's market. They're not. Right. We could do multiple locations. Mm -hmm. They go down to Waterfront Wednesdays. Oh. Waterfront Wednesdays. Yeah. That'd Fantastic place. Yeah. That'd be a good place for the, mm -hmm. for the CAC to um, go. Also, uh, I'm you know running the bike co-op at the summer camp right now. I'd be happy to have some down there. If there are kids and families that need light bulbs, I'm sure that Liz and Calvin Lewis could help um, you coordinate yeah. if there are any families that need them there. Greater Promise neighborhood would be a great, yes. Great. Yeah. I mean, I think we should get like a, we could do an online form on the website so people can sign up that they're taking bulbs so we have a list. Should we keep track? I don't know. No. What are you going to do with that information? Do we have to report back to the state? Anything? No, not really. I don't think I that much, over $5,000. Yeah. Um, it is, it is City of Hudson. This is the only reason I say it, is because it's City of Hudson. So they have to live within the City of Hudson. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. But no one's going to, you know. I know. We have their I know. farmers behind their backs. <laughs> Okay, so the next step is to pick up light bulbs that we want. Yep. And we order the light bulbs. Yes. Okay, great. Pick light bulbs on list. Um, the EV car grants I'm also working on. I just got access to the city website, so I have to post that information up there. And then I think we're due for another five grand that's coming in. So okay. yeah. great. Yeah. But there, that, that project is, I think, I don't know what we're going to do with that. I don't know. There's there's only certain projects we could spend the money on. So, I don't EVs? Know. Huh? The EVs you're talking about? The chargers. The chargers, chargers yeah. Um, uh, if we can get a bus, a 55 passenger bus for the students. Yeah, it's $5,000. That's electric. Yeah. I know. And then get a yeah. something at the DPW. Can we get a, an electric vehicle charger at the DPW? Because that will be the next place that we'll need something well, for the city. Well, mm, the next place, I think, is the people have already told me is the parking lot down by the train station for EV charging. True. 
because the thing is with EV charging is that you want some place that people kind of like leave it and then spend a few hours and come back. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is the next place. Like here, we have the parking lot behind here. Okay, municipal lot. Municipal yeah. lot. Yeah. Three there. Huh? Three. No. Three times two ports, so six total. Six and, and they're used. And then Stewart has. Oh, the yeah, steward's well, down like, by 9G. Yeah. That's only Tesla. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are other charts. I mean, the hospital has one. You know, Coles has a spot. Um, I mean, there's a few other spots. But the WIC. The WIC has one. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, DPW, they're not going to. They don't even have it in your country. We're in DPW. Yeah, People, but it might encourage them to, like, look into electric vehicles and well, who, for DPW? Mm -hmm. And for the city. Yeah. Like, why do we have a shuttle that isn't electric? You know, like, I don't know. Well, that's the county. That's the county. county. Okay, well, I'll talk to you. You can talk to the county. Um, Thinking big. Thinking big, guys, you know? It's the future. <laughs> anyway, we don't, we don't even have that much. The, the grant money is not even, I mean, well, it doesn't want, won't even get us a charger. So we'll... <laughs> One step at a time. Okay. Um, <laughs> Polly and Garden for cemetery for entrance. Um, what are we talking about now? Plaque. Did you want a plaque? Oh, you still want a plaque? I mean, I want one, but like, I haven't done any research. All right, fine. Oh, um, I saw your cry for help water the week after you had asked. How are the Oh, I think we're losing just like one or two of the more delicate. Ones, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. There's actually a pretty bad find weed problem, but oh yeah, but I've been weeding it. I don't know. It's okay. I sprayed the Juneberry with the uh, uh, fungus stuff. It's fine. Everything's fine. It looks great. If you haven't seen it lately, it's looking it beautiful. Great. Oh my Thank gosh! You. Yellows, Thank you. blues, Thank reds. You. Purple pinks, it's wonderful. It's a rainbow. I mean, you know. Um, the climate vulnerability assessment, climate action planning. We're gonna put that on the list. I now have access. So, did you send that to me already? Yeah. It's okay, fine. And all I'm gonna do is put up the real one. Great. I just got access this month, so that's a big thing. Okay, Arbor Day, planting, street tree planting. Oh God, when I have something in my mouth. Okay, I have sent out emails to the people who have applied, telling them whether we have okayed oh. or not okayed Thank you. their properties. Yay. I have already received back a couple of replies saying, but, 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 so I'm going to just look over them. I think I okayed. Um, I can tell you how many I sent them out to. Wait. And now one, how did two, you... three, four, five, six. And six did... have been okayed. So if there's a couple that I'm like, that, that say, there were, there were a bunch that were not prioritized for one reason or another. They either already had a tree planted. There could be room, but like if they already have a tree, let's see where else might need it. So I sent out a bunch of no's, and if somebody writes back and they're like, but I really want one to match my other one, right? I mean, I'm probably going to write back on a case-by-case -case basis and just take a, take a second look. I'll say, I'm going to come back and take a second look, but all my, this might fall under your own property. And before you say yes, also, did you see, you saw Britt's email? About yes. everything, right? And we have to call yeah. 811 and make sure that we can actually dig there and blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. No, I didn't do that. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's all dependent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, okay. Can't, we can't, there it's pending. Tell them it's pending. Oh, okay. Pending approval by, you okay. know, the sure. yeah, national. Okay, good. Yeah. If fine. I messed up, I'll fix it. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I mean, what are you going to do? But yeah, go back through Britt's email because she went through step by step about what actually has to happen. Okay. And I know that, like, that's why we don't do Warren Street. You know, there can't be any overhead wires. Da da da. There's a whole bunch of things. Okay. That we need to verify. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sweet. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, pending review. Climate carnival. Ugh. So the climate carnival. <laughs> 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 I only say ugh because I need a um, yes. I don't know who, who asks someone. Uh, Wait, the table there? The volunteer group to I know. just have a table. They were just have a table. Never mind them. Then. Jeez. <laughs> I, I don't know where to even. I I. I, I what we have to. About that today, he's like, I have an idea about maybe he's going to ask Tracy. Yeah, I mean, but what would the COI be for? I don't know. Just to protect them. Just to protect them. What was in the table on the fairground? It's more. I feel like it's more beneficial for us to be at the farmers market or water, waterfront Wednesdays or just being local than it is to go to a a climate carnival that only really nerdy people are going to go to. Climate nerds like ourselves will go to, and if we go there in person and just introduce ourselves and not have a table. You're going to be a lot more effective. You get just put on a shirt. You're like, I'm a cat. What's a cat? Linda, we, don't, we should. No, <laughs> Linda, we don't need the nerdy. That could be straight. <laughs> Thank sorry. you. Linda. I'm sorry. I'll try to make things easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, poor Linda's taking minutes. Of the <laughs> I think you should keep the nerdy in there. Fine. Um, well, how about preaching to the converted? It really is preaching to the converted. It totally but, is. Uh, I mean, I went last year, and all you saw was the different CAC groups from around the county. Right. And I'm like, all I did, all it made me feel was like, oh, why are we here? We're not doing this. And uh, Oh, you get a little FOMO? <laughs> FOMO. We got fo it's CAC Like, FOMO. what about going to Greenport, you know, and talking to people, folks in Greenport and just being like, hey, you we have talk this. To folks in Greenport. I am. I'm trying to start the Green Park Green Fence. Good for you. Good. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. We ha I have enough to talk to people here in Hudson. But, but I, I, I don't know. There's something to be said about being in community with the other municipalities. So, like, connect with folks. Yeah. And, and there's something. Like, the largest municipality in the county is not showing up for uh, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's. And I'm the representative. I do think Kinder Hearts. Well, the thing is, I don't know. Why are they well, requesting? I mean, we would do it if it wasn't for the insurance yeah. certificate, which I don't even know. Uh, no one even knows. What does that mean? We have to go buy insurance now? Well, that, see, I feel like we should, if we have to actually pay, which often you do, yeah. that we shouldn't do that. Like the but CAC yeah. doesn't have its own insurance policy. It would have to be the city of Hudson. The city just can give us a. I see. Tom, can you give us a little insurance? How about assurance? Can you give us some assurance? Can you give us some assurance? Or does he know who we should talk to? Do, who can we sure. talk to? I'll ensure that I'll check for insurance. <laughs> Fine, we'll That's take it. That's good enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's great. Great, thank you. That's where we're at with I that. I mean, it sounds like there's only going to be two people showing up there. Yeah, all right. Insurance for two people. Uh, the website really is like... Can you guys ask for it? And then it's like, you must have it. This is a requirement. I know. I, think that, <laughs> I know. It's just don't, even, uh, don't even bother saying, yeah. Don't even yeah, think about it. Maybe that. you should go on stilts. And it would be worth it. Good. I do. No, and then insurance will be. Um, okay, the Columbia yeah. County, uh, the Climate Smart Community co uh, Committee report from you. So I missed the last month. Okay, well, that's a good report. Um, the next one is this third one. So uh, I can share, I can follow up. Great. But it's not, I was, I got some emails from them about, it seems like the county is doing, like, got some funding to do another, like, climate resiliency plan, which I'm, I don't understand why the Cornell just went through this process with all the municipalities. So, and they were looking for volunteers as part of that. And some of oh, yes. I sent that email out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's a whole other, that was, that was that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little unclear what, it feels a little redundant. Do you want to respond to that email? 
Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I got that. Okay, fine. Um, I did not volunteer myself for anyone. Yeah, yeah, I haven't said anything. No, I was gonna. I told him I was gonna bring it up at this meeting. Yeah. So yeah. But I can get a little more information about like why and what's actually needed because it wasn't clear to me. Then. Okay. All right. So your response to that. So Josh to respond. Uh, the next is Tom lawn maintenance. Where is it? Tom, you were gonna give us a law about a code change to lawn maintenance. Yes, it's in the works with our attorney. Works with the attorney. Okay. Are we going to see it before it goes to council? Sure, if you'd like that. Yes, we would like that. Thank you. All right, great. Um, okay, the fountains in the park park. So I did email. Those two fountains are no longer working in the uh, park, but uh, right across from Hudson Hall. You know where the yeah, they haven't been working a while. They they did oh. work not that long ago. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. both of them aren't working. So I emailed Rob. I mean, he's going to look into it. Also, there's that stupid waffle stone path um, on in one of those parks on State between Third and Fourth. It's supposed to be filled. Oh, in. that one. Yeah, that's awful. I, I I don't understand. I mean, it's supposed to be filled in with sand or gravel or something. It is, first of all, we built this huge staircase to be, chairs, yeah, okay. to be wheelchair accessible. And there's no way that you could put a wheelchair on that waffle stone um, mm -hmm. path. It makes no sense whatsoever. Like, I don't understand. So um, I will email Rob about that because, and then the other thing that they do is that there's place for, there's place, they used to have like plantings along the side, but now they just weed whack everything. God, what? That's lazy. So annoying. Should that be my next yeah. uh, project? I, I, I'm happy to help you. It's right next door to me. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm just like, just leave it alone. We could just like plant something there. Just like leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah, and and then you will come and look at that waffle stone and figure out it whether they have to like lay dirt in it or something. Not or dirt. It would just have to be um, like cement stone. Mm -hmm. Cement stone. And how then, even if, sorry, it's going off <laughs> ten, tangent here, how are you supposed to put like wheelchairs on that? Yeah, I don't understand. You can't. Right? I remember I, even riding my bike on it after that it was finished, and I was like, this is insane and dangerous. Walk by it. Yeah, yeah, know it. it. Walk by it and see, you'll see. The steps of the rings, I also think, are very dangerous. <laughs> they, the texture of them is such that you're going to slip against anti, anti slip, but if you fall on it, as my Young daughter did. It like took off her knee. Like it's so. It's it's like razors. Yeah. It's literally, it's like the worst. Yes, yeah, like it's like, like razors. It's like, I don't. I don't let my dogs walk down there. No, it's oh, oh yeah, dogs no, no, certainly. No, no. Hmm. no, it's so. I don't know who. I I've, did never, I've never seen a surface like that before. Anyway, I, mean, I wonder if we could do overlay um, a wooden. <laughs> I mean, it sounds obscene, but like if we could overlay like a wooden boardwalk on top of it, Maybe and we could talk Bill to Hudson Bill Hudson. Yeah. They've been laying a lot of wood. They have been laying some wood, love wood. All right, let's move on. Cack. <laughs> you um, love it. Get it. You love it. All right, I think. <laughs> <laughs> What's that park called? Can park? we can we make park? this a topic? That park. I think, I think it's called Park Park. Uh, P A R C. Park park? That's what they used park to call park. it. P A R C P A R K. That is ridiculous. Because it was the Park Foundation, P A R C Park Foundation. Carol Ostring's on this call, so she might correct me if I say I this think that's incorrectly. Cute. <laughs> but <laughs> but okay, park, park. the Play Pop is right next to it, and Chris May, who runs Play Pop, wants to do something with that little park hmm. because it used to have a fountain and they used to have films on there. And yeah. Now yeah. Still, yeah, it would be, at one point, it was useful. Now, uh, without the, and then it was just those little, little bubbly fountains, it was cute. Hey, whatever happened to TSL doing movies out there, too? Yeah, that's, that's TSL. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because it would be really nice to involve community things, free things there, but yeah. Well, maybe we could... Well, Hudson Hall is right across the street, too. Oh, yeah. 
They should be doing it. <laughs> so yeah. this one's Park Park. What's the one on State and Third? No, no, no that's that's, that's same park, park. Yeah, the little the little white house there. I'm with you. Now. Yeah, and then this one over here is just the Pocket Park. Pocket Park, right? Where, um, yeah. Uh, Mexican radio was. What I want to do there, my future goal, my dream, is to put, now that we have that little um, water refillable station down by the Promenade Hill Park, mm. right? There's a, there's a bottle refill yeah. by the splash pad, which is like, oh, really? yeah, I know, right? Really, I know. No one knows. No one knows. Mm. Because all the way down there. But if we had a water bottle refill station here in the middle of Warren Street, mm. people might actually use it. Yeah. And people might actually know about it. And they might not buy more stupid bottled water. Yep. If there was a, that would be, I think, probably like an easy grant of like five grand or something like that. Mm -hmm. That we could probably get like a nice grant from the state to do That'd that. Be cool. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it has like, it has the water fountain. Go look at it. There's a, there's a bottle refill and then there's two water fountains there. One for kids, one for adults. Cool. It's cute. But it's right down there. I, I don't know. Where is that one? It's oh, right oh, near yeah, the right. Columbia County uh, Chamber of Commerce building. Gotcha. Oh like, yeah, I know. Like I know. Comedy Hill yeah. Park, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't. I mean, when you go down there, you'll see it. Absolutely. Yeah. I just never use it. Yeah. Right. No one uses it. No one uses it. Um. All right. That's all I got, folks. Anything else? How come there aren't more public things that happen at the promenade? How come everything happens okay. at the waterfront? That's a whole other conversation. Oh, oh, sorry. I mean, I thought it was into public comment. Oh, public comments. <laughs> Is anyone here? Be careful what you're asking. Um, I think that's it. Anything else? Motion to adjourn? I don't want to leave. Second. <laughs> Second. All right. Adjourned. Bye. Bye. Bye.